In today's lab, you are going to test the chemical interaction of alginate beads that have already been prepared to a chemical interaction with sodium citrate. This is a big, long molecule. You should recognize sodium and carbon, hydrogen, oxygen is familiar to you. So you will take the beads. Again, some of beads are created using calcium chloride. And then you found out in an earlier lesson, you can also use copper sulfate to make beads. You will be testing both and you will see how do these beads react when you add sodium citrate. So to do that, you will put the bead in a spot plate and then you will add the sodium citrate. Now, it's important for you to set up your spot plate so that you remember what is where. If you have your own spot plate, you can use the entire thing. Obviously, if you're having to share it with the people across from you, you can split it using a piece of tape. That way you know these are your six wells and these are the six wells belonging to the people, to the partners across from you. You need experimental. So the experimental is the sodium citrate. So I would mark this on the paper so you remember that these beads are being placed in experimental sodium citrate solution. And then you also want to place beads in the second row, which will serve as your control. The other thing that's important to label is what the beads are made from. Are these calcium alginate beads? Are these copper alginate beads? Are they sodium alginate beads? So make sure you also label at the top A plus two, and I'm just going to abbreviate alginate, A-L-G, or if you did copper, because that will make a difference. So once this is labeled accurately, then you can go ahead and transfer eight drops of the sodium citrate solution into each of the wells and observe what happens. And then again, you will add the control beads to the wells and you will transfer your control substance eight drops into those as well.